Stone ready map done by Ivy Eichel. Um, mainly just because I'm working on a project using MC Edit and Oprize's uh, map converter. I want to take all my redstone worlds and I want to kind of like plop them all into one. It's a lot of work and it's going to take me a while to do it, but um, I'm kind of tired of jumping around from all the world looking for stuff that uh, I've previously built or previously worked on or you know stuff like that so I'm gonna go through them all and um, kinda try to like you know plop them all into one map and make one big massive map um, so like at the same time too I get to kinda like revisit things that I've done before in my past and I really like this uh, minecart dispenser that I had um, I never did a tutorial on it so I probably will do one in the near future just because it's a really cool minecart dispenser and it's uh, very reliable. Um, it's not very wide, I think it's like four wide or three wide. One, two, three, yeah, three wide, like the circuitry. Four if you count the, uh, I guess the, uh, um, what the hell, <laughs> the lever, but I guess that can be just placed anywhere elsewhere too, so, uh, yeah, uh, I really like that. I think it's pretty neat. That was one of my earlier uh, little inventions. And then, you know, like, I got, like, lots of stuff in here to... to want to put on, like, maps and stuff. Like, this thing, like, it's got absolutely no purpose whatsoever. Because uh, we can't enchant up to level 50, and we used to be able to, but we can't. And But this would have been awesome, because you could, like, choose different uh, different ones and it was really neat and you can go by like you know levels on how many books you wanted and what level you were kind of like shooting for the most so depending on like you know what you were looking for it would uh, only give you so much and uh, the circuitry was this and uh, considering I was just new with redstone um, this is pretty impressive for me <laughs> so yeah, um, well, that's my big project for this, and I think I'm just gonna go visit each map right quick, just kind of give you a little bit of a flyby of the stuff I've been doing. You know, like this was like the the TU12 uh, item thing with Bob over there, checking out uh, how many max items we could get on the screen at once, and show you that it was not beneficial to build massive farms yet because we only have a certain amount of items. I think it's like 200 uh, on screen stacks and then after that it uh, you start losing stacks. Um, so that's this world and then I'm gonna go to another one right quick and uh, show you that and then uh, we'll be back. Alright so now we're back on I think this is my original test world the very very first one yeah this is the very very first one that I did um, it's pretty big. It's got a lot of stuff on this map. Uh, I wonder if... Find the map here. I don't know if I discovered all of it, but as you can see, like, there's a lot of stuff on this little map there, and I'm pretty sure there's more. Um, this is pretty much, well, my my learning grounds of how I learned redstone and the things that I built in order to red learn redstone like in this map <clears throat> there's not a lot of things that actually belong to me because they uh, there are other people's works like uh, this elevator here is Ivy Eichel's uh, same with these two um, I think that one is I'm not sure um, but whatever uh, yeah, so, like, then there's this, it's a button array connected with this, so that you can select minecarts, and I never got it to work right, um, 
and even though I followed the tutorial like you know to the letter I I still did something wrong <laughs> and then uh, this one I think this is the one I did um, it's using binary and you can select each lane you want and this one works if I'm not mistaken so I think this one is mine um, and then there's there's these right here this nice funnel door I had in my uh, just a dream map I can't remember whose this is but I really like this door it's a nice door <coughs> it's clean and smooth uh, sorry for that and then I started getting into the tree eater so there was the mumbo jumbo tree eater and then here's my fix to the orientational problem of the mumbo jumbo tree eater um, it does work it's just I broke it because of the sand and stuff like that but um, the levers are basically the same thing as the ones on the floor it's just adding the circuitry on the side here and changing the way the pistons react and stuff like that um, you can change the orientation of it so that's I learned that <laughs> and then I started playing with uh, Markman's uh, trader that's his automatic one and then I started making the f my fully semi-automatic one and then it just kind of spread it out there into the world of tree eaters for me um, as you can see this whole section over here is like almost nothing but tree eaters and yeah so I've had a lot of fun building my tree eaters and then uh, this right here is King Creeper's um, what is it there? Ender Pearl Elevator, which is a really cool design. Uh, I like it. And then we got under some just different things on how pistons react for power. You know, um, I just stuck pistons in all different directions here, so you can see how pistons are powered by a redstone torch in here. So it's just like little things like this that I set up for myself there to learn redstone. And it's all this kind of stuff that I'd like to compile into a map. Then me playing with doors and stuff like that. And then I got in my double piston extenders. Um, what else? There was actually something here I wanted to... Yeah, uh, then like I said, me and King Creeper, we've been jamming out on a redstone for a little while now. and. Uh, the both of us together we kind of came up with this uh, double piston extender here which is pretty cool because it works with a wooden button it works with a normal button like this and you can also hook it up onto a monostable and it will work on a monostable so that's something that both of us came up with so this is a King Cooper and Bog design for a uh, double piston extender uh, it's not flush to the floor but it's still pretty cool um, I like it a lot that's one of our our sweetest little designs that we came up together and then what else is on this map all kinds of stuff it's unreal and then I was trying to make like an automatic um, wheat farm <laughs> yeah. came out not bad but uh, I think I played around with it and screwed it up a lot and this was like a a farm for uh, for wheat so you would just like do each level independently and or whatever oh well, there's that it's like a good wheat tower I don't know man, like there's all kinds of stuff and like I'm trying to compile all this into one map and um, which is pretty cool uh, this is really neat, I played around with this a long time um, pulses, ah, and because of the way redstone works pulses are so, 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 uh, what is it, they're unreliable right now um, because of all the, the problems we're having with chunks so when you're trying to send a pulse a long distance especially on a coded uh, frequency you know like this 
uh, it, it really gets messed up sometimes and it makes it very unreliable. So a lot of my really awesome builds that I tried to do just uh, didn't work out very well. And then we got uh, farms. Um, <clears throat> this one's code crafted. Uh, Agrimars and this one is uh, Azumavoids. Um, and I built these when uh, before I guess more or less we were able to hold animals into cages and uh, it was pissing me off and I didn't know why and I found out later on that uh, they disappear so then there's this one I kinda you know, played with Agrimars a little bit, and they said that, oh, if you have them moving around, well, you know, they they won't spawn out, but I think they still ended up spawning out, and, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> there's a chicken farm, I think that one is, uh, monkey farms, uh, like you said, uh, this is how I learned how to build redstone, is by building, you know, other people's stuff, and that's, you know, like, that's important to, to learn how to, to do that, you know, like, especially if you want to go and start learning how to build your own things, you gotta, like, you know, experiment and, uh, check out other people's stuff, because, uh, it's so worthwhile, and like I said, this map is, I did, like, a lot of stuff on here, so, uh, like, I'm trying to compile it all into one, so we'll see how that works, so that's map number two. I'll be back to see you with map. Alright, so this one's not bad. It only has this on it. So it's like a virgin map still. <laughs> it's got my, um, uh, my mining cart system from my Nightmare Begins series, which I think is still a really cool little thing there. That took me a little while to get right to. So that's the only thing on this world. So that's world number three. So, alright, so we'll go to world number four now. I think I got like eight worlds, so really like. Okay, so on this other chunk map, I um, just got like some cheesy little door concepts, I guess, uh, that I was working on. A little double extended piston there in the middle. Uh, this is just a normal two, three by two open close. Pretty simple. And I was thinking about maybe like, um, <clears throat> a side entrance. You can have like pistons open up like that, and you can go through. Oh, just screwing around with little different ideas. Um, that's pretty much all the same thing as the other one, <clears throat> except using uh, different blocks. And that's pretty much all it. So that's that world. And like I said, I just want to try to compile them all into one. Now back on the sandstone map, uh, just my different doors that I got going on here that I showcased already, um, uh, different doors, and then there's my stairs, and that is King Creeper's slime farm, he built that on my map just to show me his, uh, his idea, I thought it was really neat. Um, then I got my mob spawner and the AFK system on it and there's the dual tree eater another version of it um, then we got like a I don't know a, a lava bridge I guess in a sense you can hit it on one side it goes up come and hit the pressure plates on the other did I hit the pressure plate? yeah there we go a little slow to react there, I guess. But, uh, you can hit the pressure plate on this side. Oop, hit. Yeah. I think you can hit the. Oh, oh yeah. And it closes afterwards. That's true. Because it's got that, uh, good guy circuit on it. Ivy equals good guy circuit. There you go. So that's, that's that. I just thought that was kind of neat. My kid wanted something like that in his world, so I had to uh, devise something for him. So I haven't gotten around to installing it for him yet, though, but I don't know, it's a neat little thing. There you go. I don't know why it took so long to react. It's kind of weird. But there's that world, and I think I got one more, and 
I'll be right back. And then there's this one right here, <clears throat> where we got my uh, Nether World Farms uh, mob spawner AFK system on that. Um, a Christmas tree, <laughs> uh, a bunch more of my tree eaters. Uh, that one's Arnie Cookies. Uh, more of my tree eaters, and there's my uh, counter. Um, just some mana stables and stuff. Other than that, <coughs> there's not too too much on this map. Uh, I think I discovered all that. Yeah, that's where I was. So there's like all these maps to kind of just try to compile all into one just because I'm always constantly looking for my stuff and it would be kind of neat to have just one map with all my things on it. So that's what I'm working on for a little project. And at the same time too, maybe when it's all done, I'll put it up for download so people can like kind of like check out all the stuff. And... Um, uh, eventually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Ivy Eichel's got a, he's going to be putting out a tutorial. I don't know if he will or not, but hopefully he does. Uh, there's how to, like, you know, drop in all the, your maps on one for in your PC world or whatever. Um, I might go and do that, too, uh, eventually. And if she doesn't uh, do a tutorial on it at all, maybe I'll sit down and try to figure it out. But one way or another. I will try to compile all these maps onto a PC map too and, and that way you can uh, maybe just download it on your PC and you can have a look on your PC if you want it. So, and that's that. So anyways, I just figured I'd show you a little bit of my redstone worlds and, you know, things that I worked on in order to learn, you know, what I've learned and um, it's a good basis for people to get to know redstone and, and how to get to red get to know it you know like is mainly by always going over and building other people's things um i think that's probably like the the best thing to do uh just because y you get to see different tricks um people know different logics on redstone and that's what i like to learn just the different logics and everything like that and <clears throat> I got a lot to learn <laughs> but you know like um, eventually I'll get there and uh, you know that's how it is but this is my redstone worlds and I uh, hope you all enjoy them so take care everybody peace